What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast and I stream on Twitch as often as I can if you are interested in getting better. At the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we are playing game 47 in the Rank Up series, where we will be taking my girl Chiquita Grinface all the way from Novice Grandmaster, playing Free For All, Progressive World Domination, unfiltered in public lobbies. Um, settings for this game, we're trying the map of the week is King Dynasty, uh, World Domination, uh, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, and we don't have any yet. Progressive cards, balance blitz dice, with no filtering in the lobby, as I said, and I'm keeping alliances on, and fog and blizzards are off. I am in the fifth, or I mean the fourth position in position one. We've general Weagle 9094, flying the flag of Spain, playing as blue. In position two, we have Drood 123, flying the flag of Iraq, playing as yellow. In position three, we've general Cooper 12986. Excuse me, gentlemen. No fighting on the show, please. Flying the flag of France, playing as red. Of course, I will accept your alliance, sir. I am in the fourth position. This is the rank up account. Chiquita Grinface, we are currently ranked as a master. 5,720 with 35 and 11. Looks like I'm about three games, uh, three wins back to back to back. Um, for making the GM threshold. In position 5, we've general board 12515 from US of A playing as purple. And finally, Berkeley McGlory from the Netherlands playing as orange. So things you need to know about Qing Dynasty. Um, it's a small map. What are we dealing with in terms of territories? I can take a quick look. I think it's in the 30s. 6 plus 7 plus 7 plus... 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 35. So 35 territories makes this about as small of a map as I would want to tackle for free-for-all progressive. I'm expecting to lose this to that. I'm going to add a single troop to that middle position, but I'm actually going to pull it back. No, because then I lose it to orange anyways. Depends on which way orange slices it. Does orange want to make a deal with me? Probably not, but we'll see how it goes. Turned alliances on. Because I want to see if the fact that my opponents can't see my stats means that I can use the alliances to my benefit more than my detriment. So I like being able to ask players, hey, you want to do this thing? Hey, you want to trust me? Um, and I'm happy to give people second for that trust. Because I'm never going to break you anyways, right? So I would get trust equity. Uh, as I said, I'm expecting to lose this too. Okay. Somebody's hitting orange. That's good. Orange just lost a four stack. I think I'm going to lose a four stack too, though. That's the problem. Orange is going to hit this four. There was no other easy take for me. That was the only single I could hit. So what's going to happen is blue's going to be here... Yellow's going to be here. Orange is going to be here. No, orange adds in the corner. All right, didn't see that one. So I lose a five instead? That's even worse. No, or better. He runs. Good. So this gives me an easy take in Manchuria with, uh, with a dead territory. Yeah, okay, he is going to run in here. So this spot is dead. I wouldn't be shocked if this guy rolls an AV4. So this four stack is on board time. There's no safe place for it to go. And strangely, we see the blue player hold a bonus. I wouldn't have expected. Here's how the bonuses work in Qing Dynasty. You have Tartari worth plus two. Mongolia worth plus two. Manchuria worth plus two. You have Zhili worth four. Shangan worth four. Liangzhang worth three, which makes no fucking sense. Liangguang worth plus five. And Tibet is worth three, if you can hold it. Um, also, you have this really weird idiosyncrasy where the Great Wall defends as a cap if you tap from north to south. That means it defends with three dice instead of two, ostensibly. But we know cap dice are complete bullshit. So I have no clue how good that would be. 
It doesn't give me my easy take back. So this four is gone. So I have to stack up here if I want to be in two positions. And I definitely want to be in two positions. Otherwise, I just get dead. Five hits a three. No. You have to go through there. So high non is the deep corner. So where does this five go? Into somewhere here. Oh, we're going to just roll out for no reason? Excellent. Okay. I mean, my second turn isn't terribly bad. Um, I'm going to see if I can get any value out of the stack before it's obliterated. And yay, I got a card. So there you go. I'm going to be in two positions. These fives are going to lock in here, and this other position is going to be here. Purple going for Gili still. Very aggressively. They want that bonus. Map being what it is, <clears throat> this small, it, the bonuses can still matter. Um, but I'm expecting to see a situation where blue has this, orange has this, yellow has this. And then we see who goes bad neighbor to who. All right, turn three. It looks like blue's gonna hold this now for the entire game. And that will actually put blue in a fairly advantageous position. Unless they break, unless they go bad neighbor. Let's see if I can incite some violence. Looks like I can. <laughs> I love the alliances, man. I don't know. I think they got a lot better with the update. That's my hunch. We're, we have to do, <clears throat> obviously, a couple of games to give a representative sample, but I think they got a lot better. In two places, I need to be in two places. This was really good. Seeing the strongest player hit the second strongest player. What does that stack do? Does that stack roll a six? It rolls a blue four. Hmm. Okay. This is a perfect southern position. I shouldn't have added any troops there on my first turn just to get a, a card. That one's a better spot anyways. Okay, I'm not trying to take Manchuria. I can bluff like I am, I suppose. But I don't need the two troops. They, they won't make or break my game. They won't matter. I just want to be in two places, stack up and make kills. When the time is right. Purple does take Julie. Now. And he's guarding. Julie's good. Julie's worth four. It's a four for four. That's This is the sweet spot in this map. These two. Looks like everyone wants to be friends. <laughs> now, you guys tell me. You guys tell. Ooh, he just suicides into blue. Ah, <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a power vacuum in this board. Blue and orange are going to be the fish. Blue is going to reciprocate that attack and then bot.
Yeah, fully reciprocate. Sets in. He's going to hit as much. Maybe he kills. He, he can't quite kill Orange. Oh, he could have if he put the troops in the right place. Oh, I think he still can. Amazing. Orange dies. <laughs> Alright, so we see a death on the fourth turn. It's a small map. You're going to piss someone off. Oh, this guy's full greed now. He's taking a bunch of bonuses. See if yellow hits him. Mm-hmm. Okay, we do break. I think yellow can hit him a lot. Gonna feed him to me, I think. This is a feed. I get to kill blue now. Okay. Exciting. The sets are worth six. Blue only has eight troops left. And I have perfect kill lines. Red sets in, gets the six. Does red take the kill? Yes. Red kills, attack blue. Blue's dead. <laughs> red kills blue now. <clears throat> no, red takes a bonus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Red's playing it like it's fixed, ladies and gentlemen. Blue is the fish. I'm going to get four cards. And then there will be three players remaining. Now, where to put my stacks is the other question. How much of yellow can I afford to break? Because yellow likely is a set, and he will see that betrayal, and he could slam into it. I'm holding four cards. I'm still in two positions. I think what I do is I hold. I don't piss anyone off. So now I'll be holding five cards. I'm in two decent positions. I think it's smarter to not break a bunch of yellow. Let's see if purple does. It's smarter to not break a bunch of yellow. Let someone else do it. Holding five cards, guaranteed to set next. Rather than risk yellow setting and punching me out. Purple sets and gets the 10. It's a tricky map because it's so small. Purple's also guarding. Alright, the only one of my opponents I really need to worry about is yellow, as far as I can tell. And I'm, I'm intentionally not threatening them. Okay, we see a little break. That's good. That'll cost them four troops. Ooh, we see more breaks. Yes. That'll cost them two more. Hit the other one. Go all out. Break everything. Make yellow the fish. Almost. Okay, so now yellow's going to punch purple, we hope. If yellow's holding five cards, that's dangerous. Okay, they're setting at the 12, which means I get the 15. This is a good situation right now. I'm in two strong positions, and I haven't pissed anybody off. I have reasonable kill lines on purple, reasonable kill lines on red. Yellow's a bit trickier because he's kind of big. 
Let's see what he does. I would imagine he would try to break. And and we, we could see a horrible cap roll defense type thing if he attacks over the wall into the 8 or the 6. We can also go around. Do it. No. Okay, yellow shows remarkable restraint. I'm allowed to kill purple or red really well. I don't need these bonuses. These bonuses don't matter. Everyone else seems to be playing a very different game to me. Do we see red break on purple? Looks like that's their only card. We could get a card here. Yeah, red is guarding. Attack purple. Yeah, sure. You got it, buddy. Whatever you say. Don't hit my eight, please. Okay, we do see a break. Nice. We do see a break. Finally take the Imperia. I'm not trying to guard it at all. I'm just trying to line myself up so I can get whichever kill makes sense. Either purple or red next turn. Either one will set me in. And I have a card. And I have cards anyways. Great! Should win this game now. Could possibly chain react. No. Somebody needs an extra card. Kill, kill red set, kill purple, don't set, go into the 1v1 with yellow, not good. Kill red set, don't kill purple, yeah. Sets are 25, sorry, sets are 20. Red has 29 troops. For three cards. Oh no, that would work. Okay, yeah. Kill red set, kill purple set, hit hit yellow. That's the win. Kill red first. Good. That is a GG. Got him. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. Earning 750 battle points, defeating a, a one novice, three beginners, and an intermediate. Do we see the rank change? No. We don't get it in real time too bad. And we've gone 36 and 11. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if Yeah, if you're interested in getting better, please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, I do Fix Friday on Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast. I stream on Twitch as often as I can. And if you would like to support me on my Patreon, I would be most grateful. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.